what's going on in this video i'll be showing guys how to get i access for cracked meaning whenever you press the return key it does not link you to the i access site which you have to pay no one wants that uh i don't want that most of you guys probably don't so please follow my tutorial and you'll get this working in like five minutes so this works for the devices on iPhone and iPod OS 4.0 through 4.2.1. And I'm running on the 4.1 firmware on the iPhone 3GS. So before you start this, you need to add two sources, which will be in the description below. Um, and I want to say a thank you to this guy on YouTube. His name is MK321024. Uh, if you don't know him, please check his channel out, which also will be in the description below. And please subscribe to him. He makes awesome videos. And um, he actually themes the keyboard for the iAccess 4. Actually, he makes the themes for iAccess 4 because a lot of the themes don't work for iAccess 4. Like... If you have a theme for iAccess 3 and you put it on the iAccess 4, it will not work because the codes are different, I guess. So here you go. Um, all of these themes are HD and uh, SD, meaning it will work for non-retina display and retina display. So first, you want to download a theme. Um, I've downloaded this theme, Hero Board 4.0 keyboard. Scan save this to Winboard. You're going to click Return to Cydio. You're going to add this source, repo.insignity.com. That will be in the description, like always. And after you download this, you want to go to iAccess. And you're going to click on iAccess for China. And if you have a very slow internet speed, like me, um, you're out of luck. You just pause this video here when you're installing it because this is like 40 megabytes and it's going to take a long, long time. After you do this, you're just going to click back to your home screen um, and download and click on iAccess 4. And it's going to uh, say something in Chinese, which none of you guys can read like me. Um, just click it. It's going to kick you out. And then what you want to do is go to utility, I mean just go to Winterboard and click on the theme you want. And then from Winterboard you want to do a reboot which saves your time. And after you do that you're going to click back to iAccess. After it reboots and you're on the home screen click on iAccess and you're going to enable the first one and you're going to disable everything and click on auto auto send delay to 0 0.7 but yours is going to be on Chinese which I changed to English so you guys can see it better so yeah just enable it and turn everything off and put this thing in 0 0.7 after you do, um, you're going to have a very nice themed keyboard with the return key working. Um, I'll show you another demonstration through Winboard. I mean, Safari. I guess I'm, sorry, I'm going to type in his MK321 24. And you saw the return key working. So thanks for watching. Uh, if this video helped you guys, uh, please subscribe. Um, if you're new to this channel, uh, please like this video and please subscribe. So this is it. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.